Nasa ating pong linya, atin ang kinokontak si Congressman Rufus Rodriguez, ang chairperson po ng Committee on Constitutional Amendments. May buntag, Congressman. Good morning po. May buntag, Ted, and good morning to DJ Chacha. Okay, sige. Bago po si Chacha na uh, ito ho, tabi ko sa kanya, siya na magtanong po sa inyo, ito ho bang uh, resu- uh, ito hong inyong naaprobahan na on third reading? Ito po yung joint Resolution po, Congressman? <laughs> yeah. Yung, uh, yung, ano, yung ating na-approve on third reading is resolution of both houses number six. Opo. And yesterday, we approved on second reading uh, our House Bill uh, uh, 7352. Yeah. Opo. Ibig sabihin po, para maintindihan po ng ating mga kababayan, ito po kasi ay uh, joint, kumbaga, joint resolution that must be concurred by the Senate. That's correct. Okay. Always uh, a joint uh, joint resolution of both houses. It says called resolution mm-hmm. of both houses, RBH, Apo. number 6. If you'll have to go to the mm-hmm. Senate, that's Apo, correct. Apo. Kung baga, may visa ito na gaya ng, uh, gaya ng batas, kasi nga po, joint ito, pareho, pero ho, kinakailangan aprubahan ng Senado. Pag hindi po inaprubahan ng Senado, ano ang mangyayari, Congressman? So, there will be no resolution. And there will be no convention. Okay. Maliwanag po yan. Sige. So, sa ngayon pa lang ho ba, meron na ho kayong, um, meron na ho ba kayong paramdam sa inyong counterpart in the Senate kung ito ho ba ay, kasi doon wala pa po nagfa-file ng, inyo, ng, ng kakambal na resolusyon. Meron po si uh, Senator Padilla pero ibang-iba ho naman po ang kanyang uh, paraan. So, ngayon ho ba, meron kayong kausap doon? Oh, well, we have talked with the uh, uh, the, uh, my counterpart in the Senate, uh, Senator Padilla, who is the chairman of the Committee on Constitutional Amendments and Revision of Laws in the Senate. We, we talked mm-hmm. about a month ago, and we discussed this. And uh, ang view niya is that uh, con us, now uh, Constitutional Assembly, mm-hmm. Constituent Assembly, mm-hmm. in other words, uh, mm-hmm. it will be by three-fourths vote by uh, each house. No? Mm-hmm. Ang amin naman, uh, kita naman natin na uh, during uh, the approval last week of the resolution of both houses, number six, uh, we are going for the mode of uh, constitutional convention, Ted. Mm-hmm. So, dyan kami nag-ano ngayon. So, ngayon, uh, we will be sending uh, the resolution of both houses and also the bill, once it is approved under reading, next week, both to his committee. And they have a chance to be able to discuss this okay. particular resolution and bill. Opo. Uh, Congressman, uh, dito po sa aking mga nababasa, uh, hybrid itong konkon na ito kasi meron pong ihahalal at meron pong appointed. 251 yung elected delegates at meron po naman pong uh, um, uh, appointed uh, na 63 delegates. Bakit po hybrid, Congressman? Yes, first of all, uh, there are 253 districts, so 253 mm-hmm. ang ating elected delegate. Okay. Tapos 63, 20% of the convention, 63 will be uh, appointed. A total of 316 uh, delegates uh, ito uh, said. Mm-hmm. So uh, why hybrid? Well, at first, we uh, atin is uh, to have elections because for the past 1935 election, uh, 1935 convention and then the uh, uh, 1973 Constitution, uh, lahat yung Ted, elect sila yung mga uh, nandun no? uh, on those uh, conventions. However, this time, we believe that uh, to make sure that we are more inclusive and we also have some experts on the uh, Constitution, uh, we, have made, we, have, uh, we have the proof that not only do we have elected delegates from each district, but we will have constitutional law experts experts mm-hmm. in their field, mm-hmm. and also our uh, marginalized sectors. So that they're protected naman sila doon sa convention. They can bring out their advocacies there. So yan ang reason. This is the proposal of the former Chief Justice Renato Puno. Opo. Uh, dito po sa... Uh, uh, gawa na ho ba yung ano nito? Yung uh, detalye kung sino ang kwalipikadong tumakbo sa... Uh, Bawat distrito bilang kinatawan ng distrito po sa CONCON? Well, the regular uh, qualifications, 25 years of age, pagkatapos uh, able to read and write, as far as the 
uh, appointments are concerned. But for uh, for uh, no, for elected delegates, they have to be college graduates. No? Mm-hmm. So that's the next mm-hmm. qualification. And then they must have a knowledge of the Constitution and the principles of governance. And they should be a resident of the uh, of, of the uh, of the city or the district that they are in mm-hmm. for the past one year. So those are the qualifications. Uh, just knowledge of the Constitution and not necessarily being a lawyer. Not necessarily being a lawyer. You just have an understanding, mm-hmm. understanding of the Constitution and understanding of uh, the governance, mm. our uh, system of government. So, There ganun is... lang naman. Then, apo, apo. Uh, pero mm. by probity, uh-huh. by patriotism, by nationalism. Mm. Yes, nasakuan yan. Section 2 ng House Bill. Apo. There is no disqualification. Uh, wala po dito ang provision na hindi na kwalipikado yung mga kamag-anak ng mga nakaupong mga politiko. Wala. It is not there. Uh, mm. it, it, it lost in the uh, committee. Wala mm, doon. Mm, mm, mm. Opo. And then, ang inyo pong panukala, isasabay itong CONCON delegates election sa paparating pong barangay election. That is correct. October 30, 2023, uh, it will be simultaneous with the barangay mm. and SK election. Kasabay ho ba dito po sa pagpapasa po nitong inyong uh, uh, joint resolution uh, measure na ito, Congressman, ang Committee on Ways and Means, sa nahanapin ng pera para dito? Uh, committee of Appropriations. I'm, I'm sorry, Appropri- Appropri- I'm it sorry. Is not, uh, Appropriations. It's not a uh, yeah, uh, tax measure. Mm, so it goes to the Appropriations. So appropriations to so saw and approve that uh, the uh, the expenses for the election of uh, the delegates on October 2023 uh, will be financed by its savings and appropriation of the 2022-2023 uh, budget uh, of our... Uh, our Comelec. Uh-huh. And then, uh-huh. the 2024 budget will be deliberated and included in the General Appropriations Act for 2024, which we will do in August. It's so very clear uh-huh. yung language ng appropriation measure. Apo, ano, uh, did you consult the Comelec on this uh, Congress? Ano, ano ang sabi ng Comelec dito? We are going to spend more or less how much based doon po sa original budget ng Barangay at SK Elections. Kung ito'y idadagdag, ano ang system dito? Ito ba'y automated? Ito ba'y uh, hybrid? At magkano ang gastos ng dagdag? Well, this should be manual. Manual itong eleksyon ng Barangay, mm-hmm. SK at saka itong mga, asad mga, and mga delegates, no? So uh, ang, ang ang cost nito ay uh, about uh, nag-usap kami ni Chairman uh, George Garcia ang expenditure is 1.5 billion but during the committee hearing uh, of the appropriations ng iba ang uh, COMELEC they're saying that 3.5 but I'm sure that because it will come from their savings and appropriations they will go to the lower lower side so I would uh, take the word of uh, COMELEC mm. Chairman Garcia it's 1.5 B for the election Opo, so, tapos, mm-hmm. sa ang gastos naman for next year for the convention will be about, ang um, computation is about uh, uh, 3.5 uh, billion. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then the plebiscite, which will be done also next year, from after the product, after the committee, after the convention report is submitted, will be about uh, about 3 billion. So, yun ang gastos natin. Approximately mga nasa 8 to 9 billion. Apo. So kumbaga po, uh, meron ng assurance na kung itutuloy nga ang halalan for CONCON, may pera dito ang ma- na- mailalaan ang Kongreso available po yung may pagkukunan kayo. Yes, definitely. And that is why mm-hmm. in the uh, Appropriations Committee hearing, uh, the, uh, the COMELEC assured that it can be done It can be done simultaneously. Mm-hmm. It can be done by having an additional mm-hmm. uh, funding from the savings mm-hmm. of para sa eleksyon. Mm-hmm. At saka, the DBM also has assured that there will be funds. Opa, so therefore, opa. all mm-hmm. systems go mm-hmm. as long as the Senate mm-hmm. will approve the resolution and the uh, implementing bill. Apo, apo. Yun ho bang, uh, yun ho bang implementing uh, regulations dito kasama na yung pong haba lamang ng buhay ng Kongkon at yung sa- masasakop lamang ng dapat nilang amyendahan? Uh, yes, uh, on the resolution, uh, nilagay talaga specifically doon sa resolution of both houses that it will be amendment to the economic provisions. So oh. nakalagay doon mm-hmm. sa ating resolution. Okay. Pagkatapos, uh, ang bill naman implementing it, nag-, uh, nag-, nag-, nag uh, 
ang nagbigay ng period of the uh, Constitutional Convention. And this will be from December 1, 2023 up to June 30, 2024, Ted. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So may buhay lang ito at doon lamang kayo pe pwedeng gumalaw sa economic provisions ng Saligang Batas. Well, that is our resolution but we all noted that once a convention is convened, they have also constituent plenary powers. And so it's possible. Mm-hmm. We have to be uh, honest and frank on this. It is possible, but we are definitely urging uh, the uh, elected and appointed delegates na sa ikaw na tayo, economic provisions na tayo, because very divisive kung mag-discuss uh, sila ng mga uh, political amendments. Mm, opo. Opo, opo. Sige, may tanong po si Chacha, particularly po dito ho sa operasyon ng CONCON at yung tatanggapin ng mga delikado. Go ahead, mm-hmm. yes. yes. Good morning po, Kong Rufus. Yes, good morning, DJ Chacha. Good morning. Sir, ito pong tatanggapin na 10,000 piso na daily allowance ng mga delikado. Yeah. Ito po ba'y siguradong sigurado na? Hindi na po ba ito mababago? Uh, hindi na because, uh, you know, we have computed. Ito kasi yung ating constitutional convention. It's just they have the same equal effect of a Congress, no? mga House of Representatives. So, medyo i-approximate naman natin yung kanilang uh, per diem sa so what the Congress receives. So, let me tell you that with 10,000 a month for five days, no? five days naman, Monday to, Monday to Friday, uh, that will amount to 10,000 uh, in, in a week, it will be uh, 50,000. In the in a month, it will be 200,000. Approximating the salary of congressmen, okay? That is uh, what we have. And so we believe that you have to give them that proper also per diem because they are even doing a more important job than legislation. And this is constitutional. In other words, the fundamental law of the land. So it's 10,000 as approved yesterday that DJ Tatcha. Mm-hmm. Uh, ano po reaksyon nyo? Doon sinasabi ni um, Alliance of Concerned Teachers Representative Franz Castro na yung uh, mga delegado ay tatanggap ng 10,000 piso kada araw pero um, yung pong mga may hirap na pamilya yun nga eh medyo hindi hindi pa nabibigay yung sapat na pera para po sa kanila. Well, ang sagot ko dyan is because if we have, you know, right now ang sinabi ni Franz Castro is that uh, we are only giving 1,000, di ba, ayuda? Yes po. For, uh, mm-hmm. for our uh, uh, poor families, no? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's uh, 1,000. One, uh, uh, 1, now, answer natin dyan ganito. Once we are able to answer, so able to open up our economy, DJ Chacha, we, see, we will see an influx of uh, foreign investments here because we have a good young labor force. We speak good English. And we are a country which is democratic. And so therefore, we are believing that if we are op- going to open our country, there will be more foreign investment, there will be more jobs for our Filipino people, and there will be more taxes paid by these companies uh, to the government. And through these taxes, we will be giving more ayuda to our people. So ganun ang talaga tingin natin eh. Hindi natin masabi na uh, yung ating question dito, doon na lang sa mga ayuda. And we, we, we precisely we talk of the long term. It's a long term investment so that we can be able to have our economic development faster and more jobs for our people. We estimate in 2024, once to, and in 2025, at least according to uh, the studies, uh, about 500,000 work uh, jobs will be created. Mm. Uh, y- y- so, nga po, y- 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 presumption nga, no, kung na. Uh, Dadagsain tayo ng investors dito kapag nagluwag uh, na ho ng economic provision sa ating saligang batas. In totality, congressman, doon po sa eleksyon hanggang sa operasyon, renta, allowance po na itong mga delegado, more or less magkano inyong estimate dito? Ang estimate that is about 9 billion. Okay, 9 billion. Ang, uh, ang amin pong dito ang pakiramdam, Congressman, kasi si Chacha nahihiya mong tanong eh. Ha? Disimulado, <laughs> okay dis- disimulado pa ang kanyang ano eh. Alam niyo naman, mahin, mahinhin tong partner ko. Congress, <laughs> Congressman, today, as of today, 13.7 trillion na ang ating utang as of January. Okay, yes. at ngayon nga po, hindi makapagbigay ng isang bagsak na 1,000 ang gobyerno sa ayuda. Tig pa 500 pa. 
At ngayon po sir, hindi makapag-omento ng sweldo kasi nga daw ayaw din po ng NEDA. So marami po nahihirapan. Sa inyo bang palagay, defensible ba yan sa panahong ito na tayo gumasta ng halos 10 billion sa ganito pong inyong binabalak sa gitna po ng napakaraming problema ng bayan and this will be divisive na naman po na, us- na usapin, ito ho ba tingin nyo ay nasa takdang panahon? Is this timely? Yes, uh, our answer there is a very resounding yes. Alam nyo, in 1971, the same problem. They have high prices, lack of employment. Mm-hmm. Ha? Huh? Tapos, inflation, the same. Mm-hmm. There were many demonstrations and facts. Opo. But then we believe that there has to be a change from the 1935 Constitution to be cut to have a new one and that mm-hmm. became the 70 Constitution. Mm-hmm. This problem said will continue. Mm-hmm. But as stated by Chief Justice Renato Puno, an investment on this, an, an expense of this, is not really expenditure, but it's an investment to the future. Okay. Kasi kung ganito na lang tayo, mm-hmm. kulelep na tayo dito sa ASEAN. Mm-hmm. We are the third most restrictive economy in mm-hmm. the entire world. Third. Mm-hmm. We are the first, number one tayo, mm-hmm. sa restrictive economy mm-hmm. sa buong ASEAN. Opo. Tapos Opo. recently, four days ago, mm-hmm. lumabas yung uh, findings ng Heritage uh, Foundation, a think tank based in Washington, D.C., mm-hmm. that nililista yan sila every year eh on the freest, that is the, what you call the economic index, or who are the freest economy. So number one is uh, Singapore. Number two, Switzerland. Alam mo, Ted, pag ilan tayo at the freest mm-hmm. economy, mm-hmm. Uh, we are number 89. Mm-hmm. We have slid down from uh, 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 from 70 Opo. up to 82. 89. So in other words, Ted, the problem will all be there. If we are not going to do it now, when we go 10 mm-hmm. years from mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. it's the same problem because there's no change in the Constitution. Okay. For Kung, apo, 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 so that apo, is our answer, Ted, sige po. on that. Apo, 9 mm-hmm. billion. Now, mm-hmm. for a barangay election, we'll be spending about 12 billion. Barangay election yan. Mm-hmm. For a national election, we spend about uh, 18 billion. Mm-hmm. So, to, to elect a delegate, Ted, at only 9 billion to me, mm-hmm. it's a worthy investment. And apo. that is why mm-hmm. 301 out of 311 uh, Congressman Opo. voted in favor of the resolution. Opo. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you po. And that is uh, duly noted. Uh, Congr- uh, Chairman, uh-huh. ganito po. No? Um, para lang ho, medyo maihayag din po natin ang damdamin ng mga nakikinig ngayon sa ating programa. Uh, yes. ch- Chairman, 10,000 pesos ang stipend ng bawat delegadong uupo at itong mananalo nga sa halalan. And I'm sure kapag po itong mga taong ito ay tumakbo sa halalan kung matutuloy ito, They will always say kami tumatakbo for konkon para paglingkuran ang bayan. Definitely po, yes. they will say that. Pero pwede bang, kung talagang gusto nyo maglingkod sa bayan, pwede ba kayong magtrabaho sa konkon na walang bayan ng bayan? Well, you know, we, the congressmen, the senators, we run to serve, but we are given the sufficient naman na remuneration to be able to serve and to be able to work to have mm. legislation. Mm-mm. We believe that we cannot put our delegates in a lower mm-hmm. not at par with the congressmen mm-hmm. at least the House of Representatives. Pero, Because they mm-hmm. have an important job. Eh. Mm-hmm. And that, uh, you know, that is why we, we had uh, a 10,000 because uh, mm-hmm. a 10,000 actual attendance but they're upset they cannot get the 10,000 actual attendance na kalaki sa kwan dyan. Opo, pero Monday, kumbaga, kumbaga congressman na unawaan po natin ano, ho, sa mga congressista eh, talaga ho naman at saka yan naman eh, bahagi na nga po ng ating pong uh, ano ho, di ba, ng ating pong salary standardization. Ngayon, apo, uh, uh, Chairman, pwede bang, uh, kung sakasakali, ano ho, ewan ko kung may effect ba ito, pero pwede bang kasi, uh, we are looking for patriots. Sino ang gustong maglingkod sa bayan, maging miyembro ng Kongkon, pero hindi ka babayaran ng bayan, purely voluntary yan, bilang patunay na totoong maglilingkod ka sa bayan ng walang anumang halagang kapalit. Uh, Ms. Ted, during the 35 Constitution, 71 Constitution, and the Constitutional Commission, Mm-mm. they also receive at Mm-mm. what is at par Mm-mm. the grade level Mm-mm. of the uh, the House members. Ganun talaga yun. Eh. That Mm-mm. is by history kasi we cannot, you know, Mm-mm. diminish also. Uh-huh. Yun namang tatanggap 
ng mga delegates who are also working hard. Uh -oh. They have only seven months to finish it. Mm -hmm. Grabe na trabaho din ito. Opo, so therefore, opo. we believe that 10,000 is reasonable opo. to be at the great level mm. of uh, congressmen. Opo, yes. opo. Well, actually, ho, uh, yun po namang punto ko, eh, you know, ay uh, kumbaga, eh, para lang ho, uh, maihayag din natin ano po, yung damdamin ng mga nakikinig at damdamin ng inyong lingkod kung sakasakali nga po kasi uh, sa mga nakikinig ngayon, ang iba congressman, ang tingin po, sorry po ah, ang tingin eh, para bagang, para bagang naiinsulto sila na 10,000, kasi po sa, sa ibang mga pamilya congressman, isang libo na pakalaki, yung 10,000 a day, sa iba ho talagang ang laki-laki na, kaya ang feeling nila, sila po'y naiinsulto sa malaki daw po na stipend para sa mga delegado. Well, Ted, you were a congressman, Ted, for mm -mm. three years. Mm -mm. And you know what the great level of a congressman is, mm -mm. and then there was an adjustment. Mm -mm. We believe that delegates to the convention, Ted, mm -mm. will be like you when you were a congressman. So yun lang, ang uh -oh. ating punto. We cannot go a lower, a lower per diem or remuneration uh -oh. to those who will be working hard. Fundamental, fundamental, fundamental law, Ted. Oh, so we know, um, we know your feelings and the opo. others, but opo. we believe mm. in Congress that bigyan naman natin ng sapat naman, mm -hmm. na medyo pareho naman, mm -hmm. na hindi natin sila diminish, mm -hmm. they, are, they, are, they are lower mm -hmm. in category than uh, House of Representatives members because they are not Mm. They are at par mm. with congressional congressional members. Opo kasi dati dati po sa 12th Congress congressman eh <laughs> mababa pa sweldo noon nung 12th Congress. And okay. <laughs> that is only actually 70,000 isang buwan. Sa sa iyo pa yung pamasahe mo doon sa district abonado ka pa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like Chris Bentet. Uh, opo, so, yes, so opo, opo. So na mm. yung 10,000 a day. Yeah. Opo, sige po. Ito hong mga pahabol na tanong po lamang kay Chacha and yes. this is really good okay. congressman ang ating pong discussion para yung mga nakikinig po sa atin din ay eh, ma, ma, marinig po ang inyong pong uh, wisdom ano dito po sa inyong po ng mga naging pinagbotohan po na measure. Go ahead, uh, Chacha. Mm. Yes. Uh, uh, congressman, uh, I'm just wondering no, pati yung mga nakikinig sa atin ang tanong lang nila kung ganyan yung magiging allowance. Gano'ng katagal po kaya sa tingin nyo tatagal yung pag-amyenda sa Konstitusyon para lang din matansya kung yung magiging gastos, lalo na po dun sa ang inaalmahan talaga po nila is yung 10,000 pesos na allowance. Sa ngayon po, kung makikita nyo po yung comment section natin, eh, nagliliyab po talaga yung feelings at damdamin nitong mga listeners natin. Para lang po mapahupa natin sila. Well, uh, clearly, in our bill on the CONCON, It is uh, the uh, time period for their sessions and their work will be from July, from uh, December 1, 2023, this year, up to June 30, 2024, seven months. Nyan. And so therefore, uh, that will be uh, 316 uh, uh, delegates. And that will all be about, about uh, more than 1.2 billion uh, for the honorarium uh, or the per diem of the, uh, our convention. A total cost of the convention will be about uh, uh, 4 billion. Yung convention proper. Mm. And then may okay. gastos sa election, 1.5, uh, may gastos sa kwan. Tsaka sa so, yung office so, po, billion, opo, pati yung mm, oh, pati correct. pati po yung office and administrative staff, no? Yes. Opo. Kasama na yan mm -hmm. sa 4 mm -hmm. billion mm -hmm. operation sa okay. Congress. May Sige. tatlong staff ang ating mga mm -hmm. uh, delegado. May mm -hmm. chief of staff, mayroon siyang researcher or mm -hmm. legal counsel. Mm -hmm. And then number three, he will have a messenger utility. Mm -hmm. That's law. Opa. So uh, they, that will be spent for mm -hmm. by the, uh, by the uh, budget for the convention. Meron na ba uh, kayo ano? They will ano? be holding Mer office Opa. at the PICC. Ah. May magdirenta na sa PICC. Mm -hmm. Doon na, mm -hmm. sa plenary hall ng PICC, mm -hmm. doon na mm -hmm. ang ating uh, session mm -hmm. sa convention. Opa, okay? opa, opa, opa. Yes, we wanted to be the, in the Congress mm -hmm. in the morning because our session is in the afternoon, but mm -hmm. we want them to be independent. Baka sabihin na, mm -hmm. at the Congress, so, you know, we influence the delegates. So mm -hmm. we had a, a very, very neutral venue, opa, which opa. is the PICC. Opa. Doon sila, mag-work, yes. Okay. Sige, anyway, And uh, they will have mm, also, Ted, mm, to be honest, to be clear, mm, they will also have uh, 40,000 as traveling expenses a month. Okay. Why? For, Because mm, uh, every week, uh, they will be going home uh, Monday to Friday. They go to the families in their provinces, in their district mm, uh, from uh, Friday evening mm, and then to Sunday and come back. So, uh, we estimated that the traveling expenses, uh, plane fare will be about 10,000 a week. 
So, 40,000 naman. Okay? So, and kung, then, uh, meron oh, pa silang, ano, mm. uh, magre-rent sila ito, titira mm. sila sa Maynila. Mm-hmm. Uh, sa so, under the uh, statistics of the NEDA, uh, that, uh, the, Kwan, the, uh, the rentals now, uh, a PSA, Philippine Statistics Authority, rental in Manila is about 30,000. So, they will also have said 30,000 naman. So, so okay, living, okay. Sige, so, 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 meron yeah. silang 200,000 stipend plus 40,000 yeah. allowance, that's 240, yeah. And another 30,000 for rentals na kanilang titirhan. So, yes, 270 lahat. 270 lahat. Bawat uh, isa. Mm-hmm. Traveling and uh, lodging expenses. That okay. is correct. Okay, 270 total sa bawat isang delegado. 316 yan for 7 months. That's correct. Okay, sige po. So, uh, Congressman, thank you po. At least kayo po ay, you know, uh, we, for this uh, engagement. Uh, sa huling punto, ang sabi po nila Christian Munsod, nila Atty. Munsod, kasi nga daw po ang feeling nung iba, eh hindi naman daw ho nagiging masyadong malaya ang talak. Ayan, sorry po, no? Dito po sa Kongreso, kasi nga kakaun- aanim lang <laughs> yung nakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak